Another year, another autumn. And you know what that means. October on Nightmind is always special, and I've been thinking of this theme for a little bit with a smile. For our ninth autumn season, you'll need to light a few candles and get your nerves steady, because we're holding an evocation. The spiritual and invisible terrors and chills are the focus this year. Ghosts, phantoms, poltergeists, hauntings, the whole gallery of spirits are open to your choosing and the other scary kind of spiritual. Curses, dark rituals, the world of magic and human interactions with physically invisible forces. If it can't normally be seen and it's haunting or casting its influences on you, it's open to your creative use. Bring me your graveyard seances, your haunted houses, your cloaked rituals in the basement of the tabletop shop that totally backfire, your short films that clearly show you love the movie, the craft, and the show Charmed. Internet curses and horrors count too. Just keep it 30% internet focused and 70% effects of the curse. We've already done the blood drive theme. Get those body chills going. Get your ghost hunter motor running. Get spiritually spooky. I know some of you have the knowledge it takes to pull off some excellent haunting tricks. And this is your time to show what you've got. The rules are simple and the same as before. One time stories only. No cases of launching your own fiction projects through Candy Bowl. If you like your short enough after the fact that you want to expand it into a series or project unconnected to the candy bowl, then go ahead. Your only focus at this time should be to tell an incredible story on Halloween night. Candy Bowl is a friendly competition, and while good and decent entries will make the Halloween hangover on November 1st, only the submissions that leave viewers haunted will make the night. You know what the theme is. Let your passion lead. And remember, this is a fresh, prompt competition. Don't send me something you've already had laying around that you made months ago. Go have a pumpkin spice coffee run and get working this season to produce something new. One of the fun elements of Candy Bowl is that while you're all working on your shorts, I'm working on the October content for Nightmind. All of us are simultaneously creating our Halloween together, even while miles apart. And it's beautiful and invigorating and I'd rather you join us in the activity. You have 10 full minutes for your entries if you need them with the only exception being for any seconds after that to show credits. And as always, video content only. Anything else is inadmissible. If your submission is a lot more audio than video, you better do your best to make sure it slays like a winning campfire story. You're going into this with a lot of people who will be visually stimulating from start to finish using camera footage or animations. Bring your A game if it's going to be a lot of audio, but please don't make it mainly audio. Standard rules of content apply. Be as gruesome or adult as you'd like within YouTube sensibilities for such content, but try not to overdo it. We don't need a community guideline strike just for celebrating the most wonderful night of the year. No one under the age of 18 need apply. Every candy bowl is 18 and over only. And frankly, none of you out there should be watching me if you are not 18 or over. And I think you know that. If there are actors under the age of 18 in your submission, you must have the full awareness and explicit approval of their parent or guardian that they're doing this and where the content will be shown. And I'd like acknowledgement that you've done that in your email. October 19th is your deadline, and October 22nd is your grace deadline. If you're unfamiliar with what that means, it's simply this. Plan everything to be completed and sent to me by October 19th. Try your best to have it in by October 19th. And if for some reason you need just a few more days to finish, get it done and have it emailed during the night of the 22nd. If I wake up on October 23rd, get to work assembling the content, and your submission makes it to my email after I hit render in the video editor, you are too late and there's nothing I can do. But I will be checking the email one last time before I press the render button. I mean it when I say I cannot hold on past the 23rd and you don't want to risk making it at the very last second. So fight to get it submitted even if you're pressing send an hour after sunrise on the morning of October 23rd. But really, do your best to not end up in that situation. I've replied to creators with great entries that barely made it, getting lucky by their last second timing and my initiative to take a look one last time before rendering. Don't risk it. Make sure you have the video submission as an unlisted upload to YouTube and give me the link or send me a Google Drive link that you have made completely, entirely sure, is openly viewable to anyone with the link. I'm going to harp on this one because it's the biggest frustration I have always had with Candy Bowl. 
If you're going to share a Google Drive link, click on the Share button, then make sure you change permission to anyone with the link, then copy the link and paste it in the email. If you don't do this and I have to request permission, and you never check the email that would grant me that permission, I'll never get to see what you made. Make sure the option is taken care of before you send me the link. Send your email submissions to nmindexentry at gmail.com and start the subject of the email with candybowl23 in parentheses just like this, followed by the title of your piece. I mean it. I need to be able to find your entry by searching exactly that header because I use this email for index entries as well. I do not want you lost in the mix. As for everyone else just looking forward to October, I have playlists of my previous years of autumn celebrations and candy bowl specials for you to view. Enjoy your trip down our leaf-covered memory lane, or discover the adventures of October's past for the very first time. Many monster legends, urban legends, SCP entries, and amazing shorts await you within. Remember the candy bowl guidelines, get spiritually inclined with the theme, mind of the calendar, and go show us what kind of story you can bring to the table. Break a leg! And I'll see you all again for the next Nightmine Candy Bowl on Halloween.